Is there a flip side to having a loyal companion? Seems impossible. But being a chosen human for your dog means they need a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you to feel any kind of happiness. If you don't meet that need, your dog will feel extremely neglected. But how much time is enough time? It's different for every dog, so watch out for these 10 signs that your dog thinks you are choosing to neglect them. Number 1. Dogs aren't as famous for their whiskers as cats are but they do have them. And you might be surprised that one of their functions is actually communicating your pooch's emotional state. A dog whose whiskers are relaxed is calm and content. A dog who wants to show you how happy they are will almost lift the whiskers up to their eyes, making them look wide-eyed and extra cute. But then an anxious dog might hide behind their whiskers, flaring them outwards to point at the threat. If your pup is feeling neglected by their humans, they might flare their whiskers out more than usual. Dogs depend on their humans to protect them from danger, so a dog who doesn't believe that their humans are there for them as much as they should be is likely to be more wary of potential threats as a result. Number 2. It's not unusual for dogs to chew on things. That's why chew toys are such big business. It helps them keep their teeth clean and their jaws in good working order. But in some cases, gnawing can be a bad thing. A neglected dog might start chewing on things that they shouldn't, like shoes or furniture legs. Or they might start chewing their toys to the point that they fall apart much more quickly than they used to. At this stage, chewing isn't really about exercising the jaws or satisfying an instinct. It's about one thing, boredom. These dogs chew for the same reason that a bored human might start tapping their feet or cracking their knuckles. It's just some outlet for that nervous energy that you could say is chewing on them. Number 3. Dogs bark for all sorts of reasons. To see off their enemies, such as mailmen, squirrels and the neighbor's cat. To express excitement when you come home at the end of the day, not to mention just out of sheer joie de vivre. But they can also bark to communicate distress. Your dog's wolf ancestors would have used howls and barks to communicate with the rest of the pack and to call them when they became separated. A neglected dog who is left home alone for long periods of time will often end up barking and howling a lot as a way of trying to call their humans. Number 4. One of the first things that most dog owners cover when they invite a new puppy into their home is potty training. But sometimes, after years of going outside with no problem, a dog will regress and start going to the bathroom indoors. This can be caused by a few things, including medical issues. So if you notice your dog doing this, then it's a good idea to get them checked out by a vet. But one major cause is stress. Dog pee and poop contains pheromones, a kind of chemical scent that is specific to your dog and that they can use to communicate with other dogs. If a dog is stressed due to long absences of their humans, then they may become worried about potential intruders invading their territory and will want to mark it with their pheromones to let other dogs know that they're unwelcome. Number 5. Dogs are champion nappers, sleeping for up to 14 hours a day. But most dogs will try and time their nap times so that they can be awake and ready to play when you come home to them. However, a dog who knows that they can't expect their humans home for a while, or who knows that they won't get much playtime or attention when the humans are at home, will likely resort to oversleeping. This is essentially the same thing that occurs when a human gets depressed and ends up sleeping all day. It's a combination of not having anything to do that feels worth getting out of bed for and wanting to sleep because unconsciousness is better than boredom or loneliness. Not a good feeling for anybody, human or canine. Number 6. A lot of people seek out breeds like Border Collies or German Shepherds because they like the way they look or because they've seen and fallen in love with characters like Fly from Babe or Rin Tin Tin from the old black and white films. But anyone who buys such a dog without doing the proper research will soon learn that these breeds are not for everyone. Working breeds are breeds that have been bred to do specific jobs alongside humans, and if they are brought into the home of somebody who doesn't need any sheep herded or property guarded, then they need a lot of stimulation to make up for their unemployment. If they don't get it, then they might decide to give themselves a job, 
such as ripping up their owner's couch or trying to dig their way through the drywall. Coming home to a destroyed apartment is a sure sign that a dog is feeling neglected and needs a lot more attention. Number 7. It can be difficult to train a dog out of jumping up when you come home at the end of the day. They're just so excited to see you. Bouncing isn't just about jumping for joy, however. It's also about your dog trying to capture your attention. You're very tall from a canine perspective, especially if your doggo is a dachshund, and your dog is jumping to try and make up the height difference between you. This can be a perfectly innocent gesture, but if a dog starts jumping up frequently, even when they have no reason to be particularly excited, then it can be a sign that they feel like their owners aren't giving them enough attention, so they must take steps to actively demand their due diligence. Number 8. It can be an issue when your dog is too scared of strangers. Basic everyday activities like a trip to the dog park or even a walk down the street can be a lot harder when your dog insists on hiding behind you and whimpering or raising their hackles and barking. If this is you, then you might feel envious of the people whose dogs are eager to meet and greet new people. But what if we told you that a dog being too keen to interact with new humans can actually be another sign of neglect? It's fine for a dog to be sociable, but they should prefer their human above other humans. A dog-specific pet parent should be their safe place. So if they start preferring other people over them, then that suggests that something is severely amiss in the relationship. Number 9. A dog who is left alone a lot might start to become overly clingy when their human finally comes home, following them around the house to the extent that they won't even let them go to the bathroom on their own without a fight. They also might feel compelled to check up on them during the day, just to make sure that they haven't somehow snuck off. If the clinginess goes too far, to the extent that it begins to affect the human's ability to live their life and care for their dog, then it can be a sign of Velcro Dog Syndrome, a disorder characterized by extreme separation anxiety. Number 10. Sometimes, however, being left alone can have the opposite effect. As social animals, dogs rely on regular social interactions with either humans or other dogs to help them stay mentally healthy. Just like how many people watching this probably found themselves having to relearn how to navigate social gatherings after a year in quarantine, a dog who has been left alone for long periods can start to forget how to behave around humans. Such dogs might become overly fearful of humans, especially ones they don't know very well, or overly aggressive. This is the kind of situation that can even lead to a dog biting people if the underlying issue is not properly addressed in time. A crime has been committed. A crime against doggy kind. I, canine detective Sherlock Bones, and my loyal assistant Dr. Wolfson are on the case. In this video, we're going to be investigating 11 terrible crimes committed by otherwise loving dog owners against their beloved pets.